fishing, an art form over 40,000 years old. In the 16th century, fishing vessels crossed the oceans in pursuit of fish. In 2008, we would pursue fish over the internet at Trophy Fishing Online 2. Welcome to Trophy Fishing Online 2, the game which melds simulation, tons of depth, with the concept of minimalism to create an addictive fishing browser-based experience. Start out as a simple fly fisherman, graduate to freshwater lakes and rivers, and even take on the muddy oceans. This video attempts to explain the most basic steps of Trophy Fishing Online 2, while showcasing what makes the game great. To begin the game, you must first sign up. To sign up, click on the Sign Up for Free Click Here link and fill in the appropriate information. Once you are signed up, log in using the information you have provided. As a new player, classic mechanics are easier to grasp and is recommended, but you can choose Advanced if you feel up for a challenge. Advanced mechanics are geared towards players with more lure variety and grasp of game mechanics. The first page you will be presented is the Charter page. This can always be accessed under the Home link on the top menu. The Charter page contains information about yourself and global events in the game. At the top of the page, you'll find your global quests. As you scroll down the page, you will see ongoing weekly tournaments, rarity races, Dragon Slayer tournaments, and other such events. As a new player, much on the Charter page won't be relevant to you yet, but there are some options you can set on the screen, such as disabling sound or changing the way the game is presented. To begin fishing, simply click Fishing in the top menu. You will be presented the five groups of fishing, vacation areas, which encompass international areas, fly fishing, freshwater, Atlantic, and Pacific fishing. As a new player, you only have skills in fly fishing, so you'd want to choose fly fishing by clicking the image. As you progress in the game, you unlock more fishing locations by upgrading your movement level. But for now, you only have level 1 fly fishing unlocked. Begin by clicking Fish Here next to Taylor Creek at the top of the fly fishing locations page. Because this is a fly fishing location, you can start fishing at any location and cash out at any location. Choose any of the six locations at Taylor Creek by clicking Start Here next to your desired starting location. There is no wrong choice here. Each location has different fish species, which you will learn as you play the game. Once you click Start Here, click Go Fish on the Launching a Fish Expedition confirmation page. You should now be on the main fishing navigation screen. This screen allows you to select a lure to begin fishing, move to a new location, or cash out, which ends your fishing expedition and gives you money for fish in your live well. To begin fishing, you simply need to click on any lure that is in your tackle box. As a new player, you are provided seven common lures, including five flies and two live freshwater lures. The flies are great for attracting trout, while the leafworm and fathead minnow can attract other species. Click on any lure to begin casting. In the tutorial, we use the Fly Shack Adams lure, but again, there is no wrong choice. Lure types affect the frequency at which fish bite and if they'll bite or not. Experimenting and learning these combinations is the fun of playing Trophy Fishing Online too. Like real fishing, you must now wait for a fish to bite your lure. You will be displayed live text of what is happening in the game, such as other players fishing nearby, fish jumping out of the water, or fish swimming by your lure. These are all helpful hints to let you know what kind of fish live in the area you are fishing. Wait on this page until you hear the fish bloop sound, or you read alert, you have a fish on the line at the top of the page. Click this message and you will begin the fish fighting process of the game. Fish fighting is a mini game in which you want to gain 10 bobbers while fighting a fish. Once you have 10 bobbers, you have reeled in the fish and it will be added to your live well. 
As you fight a fish, your line tension may possibly increase. Line tensions of purple and red are quite extreme, and you will want to release tension to avoid the line from breaking. Reel when the line tension is green or blue to gain bobbers and eventually catch the fish. Repeat the process until you have either caught or the fish breaks the line and escapes. If you manage to catch the fish, you'll want to click continue. If you click release, it will immediately release the fish back into the water and not count towards your cash out. You will now want to repeat the process of selecting lures and casting. Experiment by trying different lures and see what bites. You can also change locations by clicking another location under the Move to Another Location menu. When you are ready to cash out, release fish until you have five fish in your live well. There are also rules for certain fish species, such as only allowing a certain number of that species when you cash out. When you cash out, you will receive money equal to the fish value in your live well. You simply click cash out from the fish navigation screen and you will leave Taylor Creek. Each day you are allowed five launches onto a body of water. This count is reset at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. At the top of the charter page, you will notice daily goals, which are fine-tuned to your level. It is worth taking the effort to complete these goals for strong early boost to your account and influence points, which allow you to unlock other perks and lures within the game. Another standing to consider for a new player is your league. As a new player, you will begin in the Guppy League and eventually graduate to the Crayfish League. Leagues allow you to compete against other players of similar equipment levels to see who can bring in the best fish of certain species. You can access your league page at any time by hovering over Home and then the Your Guppy League homepage link. It is a good idea to focus on these fish for extra payouts at the end of a league series and are usually very accessible to you as a new player. There is a couple things you can do with the money you earn from catching fish. The first is you can spend money and buy common lures. You can access the common lures for sale by hovering over lures and then lure database, view or buy common lures. You can experiment with many of these lures and they have different uses for different fish. For fly fishing, you will want to focus on fly fishing tagged lures. Once you end up fishing for freshwater fish, you'll want to get your hands on freshwater tagged lures. You can always see the tag of a lure next to the lure name in parentheses. The second thing you can do with money you earn is improve your skills and unlock new fishing areas. To do this, hover over the Home Equipment Investment link. It is suggested you focus on fly to improve your fly fishing skills or unlock new areas. To give yourself the strongest burst in performance, the Rod Upgrade is a great start. Each level improves your fish fighting by 10%. If you wish to fish elsewhere, make sure to improve your movement level. Each movement level unlocks new areas. You only need to click train next to the price of an equipment piece to upgrade it. It is always a fine idea to ask on the forum if you have questions about how you should develop your skills in the equipment investment area. Trophy Fishing Online 2 is a game that has been developed for over 10 years now. It has many fish from around the world from the Acestra Rinches of Brazil to the Zone of Armenia. At the time of this video, there are nearly 400 unique fish to catch with their own lure preferences spread across the massive Trophy Fishing Online 2 universe. The game also currently contains around 70 locations, many of which are fictionalized but are based upon real-world locations. Weather within the game is simulated from real-world conditions so, if it is raining on the Amazon River, it's actually raining in the game. Unlocking areas gives a great amount of exploration and depth to the game, and a longevity unequalized by rival games. There are many players who have played the game for over five years and still have not unlocked everything. Eventually, you will be able to compete with other players in the Hall of Fame. Will you achieve greatness by being ranked among the best in the world in Trophy Fishing Online 2? TrophyFishingOnline.com Trophy Fishing Online 2, over a decade in the making. Explore. Fish. 
capture, expand, grow. Never run out of things to do and be part of a growing community. Learn the game and teach others. Enjoy your adventure.